Good news as Qatar and the UAE officially reopened their embassies for the first time since 2017. The date for Eid al-Adha has been officially confirmed. Ground for more. A crackdown on runaway domestic workers sees over 20 absconders arrested. And finally, pre-season is underway for our very own Qatar Stars League clubs. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. The embassies of Qatar and the United Arab Emirates officially reopened on Monday morning for the first time since the GCC blockade. The move now signals the complete reconciliation of the two GCC nations two years after signing the Al-Ula agreement. In a statement, Qatar's foreign ministry said work will now resume at the embassy of the state of Qatar in Abu Dhabi and its consulate in Dubai, as well as the embassy of the United Arab Emirates in Doha. The UAE joined Saudi Arabia, Egypt and Bahrain in severing ties with Qatar and imposing an illegal air, land and sea blockade back in 2017. However, that crisis has since come to a halt. Egypt and Saudi Arabia have already reappointed ambassadors to Qatar, though Bahrain has yet to do so. Now, the Saudi Supreme Court has officially announced that Eid al-Adha will fall on Wednesday, the 28th of June. Moon siding authorities confirm the 19th of June is the start of the Islamic month of the Hijjah, meaning the day of Arafah will be a day before Eid on the 27th. Millions of Muslims are currently on their way to Mecca for Hajj, a mandatory pilgrimage for all those who can physically and financially do so at least once in their lives. Here in Qatar, 22 Asian domestic workers who ran away from their employer's home to seek illegal employment elsewhere have been arrested. Authorities say there has been a rise in absconding domestic workers in recent years, an issue that has been costing employers fortunes while causing a security threat. The women have been transferred over to the public prosecution where they will face further legal proceedings. And finally, Qatar Stars League clubs are gearing up for the new season by participating in overseas camps. From Turkey to Spain to Austria. The club teams will be divided across Europe to play friendly matches against local teams and to get in shape for the upcoming demanding season. The decision to move training camps abroad comes after Qatar Football Association's leaders voiced measures to enhance approaches on and off the pitch. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.